Okay. All right. Cool. We we all right. So this this is it. This, this should it's, be the absolute last be. part <laughs> of our little be. recording <laughs> session. Oh man. Literally, at worst, this is going to be 16 hours. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> but at best, like, we, we we literally do not have much more to cover. No. We really don't. We don't. Yeah, it's uh, it's just these rows. I think we can do this. I think so, too. Okay. All right. Let, let's let, let's just power on through. Uh, Miss Double so, Finger. Yes. Uh, she had... She's kind of like a punk villain. I only remember her because she was the bartender. That yeah. Tur- that uh, wasn't a, a bartender where the bar itself turned into a carriage or some shit. No, no, they just went into the carriage from there. It was it was oh, okay. it, it was Baroque Works meeting spot. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah. And yeah, then she had her little fight with Nami, and Nami got the drop on her. It was really cool, but man, is that a knock against the character? <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, Miss Doublefinger is. <laughs> what do all you right. think? She's all right. Yeah. Would you say like maybe potentially one of the lower C's? Potentially. I mean, oh God, I almost want to say D. That really? would imply that she is, at best, she's slightly better than Zeus. I mean... for, her, for She at least had a fight. She at least had some interaction with the characters. She, the thing is, though, she lost to... Not only did she lose to pre-time skip uh, Nami, <laughs> but she, she lost to pre-time skip Nami... Before the weather buffs. Yeah, but th- that was Nami's thing, man. It's just like... I don't know. That that shouldn't be a point against her. <laughs> it was she a was, great fight. She was a trained assassin that lost to a girl having party tricks as her power at the time. Yeah, but thankfully, Nami was a smart girl. She figured it out. She figured out a way. She essentially had to wound herself to get the kill on Double Finger. <sighs> I don't blame her that much. If, she, uh, if, if she's in C tier, she's got to be bottom of C tier. Yeah, that's why I'm saying. Okay, then fine. Like, like under rocks. <laughs> then then fine. Fine. We'll balance it out for you. It's under <laughs> random rocks. See, look, happy, happy, happy with the fucking <laughs> kind of happy. Yeah. yeah um, there we go. Is he a are commander you? of Whitebeard or is he an ally of Whitebeard? Either way, I don't remember his face at all. Oh. Uh, Let's take a look here. Whitebeard crew. Let's see if there's anyone there that looks remotely familiar. Um. Yeah. Let's see, wipe your pirates, Jolly Roger. All righty then. Oh, is this him? Uh. Oh, yeah, I found him. I think. Okay. Uh, let me just double check here. Is he commander or is he an ally? That's the um, biggest just... thing. He is a commander. He is Speed Jiru. Here, I will stop the stream recording real quick and send you right on over to what I discovered. Uh, this be him. This is the guy. <laughs> yeah. He is the commander of the 14th Division of the White Beer Pirates. And so this is a personality really section. It's literally about loyalty. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. That's a D tier. Oh, that's being generous. I was going to put him in nobodies. What does you he do? You know what? You're right. You're right. What does he do? The fact, uh, the he... fact, the fact I couldn't remember if he was an ally or a commander. And I just recently watched Marineford. He jousts people. Duh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, speed is S-tier. next. S tier. Oh my god. No. Dude. Dude. <laughs> look. Speed. Jiru. Now speed. Interesting. Oh my god. Uh. Oh but okay. God. I don't. 
all right in all seriousness because of your weakness of boobs um well she's she's a horse girl with boobs so uh, uh. okay so um. with, with this with, with speed um i literally i only remember her because of she, uh, Otama tamed her, and then yeah. she got destroyed by Kaido, I believe. That's pretty much it. Uh, I don't remember really anything about her. I think she had like an interaction with Luffy early on, but that was it. I, I that was pretty much it. That was during the Otama stuff. So I think she died after. Like I think she died no, right she, in front of Luffy. I'm pretty sure she's still alive. Oh really? Oh, uh, I guess. Pretty sure. Maybe I I could go either way. I'm not surprised if Oda kept her alive. Yeah. Um, but I at least I recognize her. I guess yeah. she's a D tier. <laughs> yeah, no, D D is where she belongs. Um, I'd say uh, I'd say right above Hina. Why Hina? I don't know. There's Lauji, and then there's the Blackbeard Pirates. You sure? <laughs> okay, fine. So you go underneath <laughs> the Blackbeard Pirates. Underneath your boy Goatee, which is actually very fair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. All right. Oh, there we go. Right above Goatee. Okay. The Mole Woman. I, I, the mole. Ooh, what, what, what is her name? I keep like forgetting. Miss, I think Miss Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. Yes. 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 Thank you. I think it is Miss Christmas. Um. Yeah. I I liked her. Like yeah. I thought she was a very fit. Like her and a uh, doofus face was a. Uh, oh yeah, we'll, we'll get the opponent. doofus face soon. Oh really? Yeah, okay, he's cool. He's he's coming up. Um, okay, I honestly, like her. She's on par with Double Finger. I think. Now you knock Double Finger because of her fight. Mm-hmm. But. Chopper and Usopp versus her doofus face and the dog cannon. Yeah. I that's 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 their highlight. That's their thing. Yeah. Um it was, honestly, it was a better fight. How about we put her Oh, you know what? I'm looking at Green Bull and I'm looking at Rocks. Um <laughs> maybe maybe next double finger isn't so crazy after all. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Because nope. with, with her fight with her fight with Usopp and Chopper, we do get the moment of Us the Usopp. Luffy's gonna be Pirate King. Yes, which so. is fantastic. Yes. And oh, plus her so. devil her devil fruit's kind of cool. A mole fruit. Oh good Yo. news. The uh, part three just downloaded. Oh, nice. Oh, Batman. Put him in S tier. He used hockey against Luffy and held him back in the anime. So therefore, he is S tier all the way. You are correct. There he is, right in <laughs> S tier. Excellent. <laughs> Moving on. Wait, are you serious? Are we really going to put him in Spandam and Friends? No. D tier though, because I mean, he's there really he's wasn't a much to him. No, he's a gifter. That's about I it. would say right. Okay, here's the difficult part. Under Sheephead or above him? Above him. Because at least well. at least we got Batman in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now is this set? Nami's mother? Her madre? No. no, this is what's this is um fuck. It's Mr. Mr. Five's female partner. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. So but Nami's Madre. The... Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> she had the she had the fruit where she could change her weight, which is basically the same fruit as that one executive of Dolphamingos. Oh. Uh, yeah, I yeah, I'm sorry. I just do not remember her at all. I just remember maybe her reaction during Whiskey Peak. Eight, yeah, minutes. she was in Whiskey Peak and the arc with the Giants. Mm. So, uh, maybe D. <laughs> yeah, somewhere, somewhere in D. 
Man, we are like slowly demotivating ourselves because we have not had a single character go past the first line no. of C tier since we started up after our break. I'm also I'm also kind of looking at some of the people in D tier. Um. Oh, we might have another Robin situation. I think. Well, okay, explain. Oh, if it's about Johnny Depp, then I am on board. No, it's not about Johnny Depp. All right, then no more conversation about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, do I do I dare even? Okay, no, no but no, no, I'm interested. Who are you yeah. thinking? I want to move Shirahoshi up. Up to C. Yes, because she at least has story potential. She's so, at, so, not 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 just because of the ancient weapon thing, but there's more to it because there's the stuff with like laugh tail and all that, where there's theories about oh they just needed the mermaid princess who could control the Neptunians blah blah blah, but then like it's not really that but like I look at the others in D tier, and yeah very well very. Well. Shirahoshi was a crybaby and blah blah blah, but I don't think she belongs in this crowd in D tier. I can agree, I yeah. assume. Yeah. All right. Where in C tier do you see her? Um probably above Bep. Bo or after Burgess? One of those? Let's put her above Shiki. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. There you go, Shirahoshi. Plus massive boobs. (laughs) And on that note... (laughs) Good. I'm glad you didn't notice then. All right. Oh so, no. Oh shit. I, I saw never what took you care. did. I see. I see. I saw him. Go saw back one. up. Go no. back up. No. We haven't taken care of Miss Christmas yet. Or Miss, the, 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 the girl. Miss What's her face? She's bottom of D. We did really bottom of D? Oh, well, I just put her right there for now. Uh <laughs> maybe. She did more than the fucking Blackbeard Pirates, but so I'll That's put her right fine. next to Lao G. <laughs> That's fine. And All right. Excuse me. Hold on. No, can we go? Then... Can we go up real quick? I, no. I want to check something. No, we can. We fine. can't go up. Put this. Put this fodder in nobody's because I don't know who the fuck that is. Uh, that is uh, Foggy. Cool. I don't know who the fuck that is. Foggy Nelson. <laughs> Uh, speaking of the next person, I don't know the next fucking person. I don't rec- I but kind of recognize him, but he's one of the uh, he, I think he joined the Grand Fleet. Did he? Is he's he like, like he's like the somebody? assassin dude? Is he part of somebody's thing in the Grand Fleet? I think he's one of the leaders. Let me check. Let me check. No, he's Wait. not. No, he's not. Straw hat. Straw hat I, I know Fleet. I know full well he's not. Oh no! I'm sorry. I got that wrong. I think he's just a damn member right. of the alliance. Therefore, you're gonna go up and put Odin back where he belongs. So where would I put this guy? I don't remember him too well. I remember him doing I shit. Either. So I think I'll put him in like he helped against the Doflamingo family, but I don't remember him doing much of anything. He's just an appearance wise character. So mm-hmm. I guess I will put him. Right with speed, I guess. Yeah. Uh, right under speed. Right under speed. Yeah, fuck it. All right. Uh oh, Mount Dior. Oh, look, another. Well, could we say he's a competent member of Big Mom's crew? Yeah, he's fairly. He's fairly competent. Yeah. He's the guy that tries to call the shots a lot, and I yeah. respect him for that. Sure, he was. He was like main communications. Yeah. And his book oh, power is insane. True. Like, I see him probably as, like, because, like, he was one of, like, the big voices of reason. Mm-hmm. I I honestly see him, like, uh, well, let, let me take a look in, like, upper upper C. 
Oh, oh yeah. Oh, by the way, um, who's that next to Idio? Yeah, he can go back in S tier. Oh, uh, that is Alvida <laughs> next to Idio. So anyway, is... looking at the C tier, <laughs> I can Odin. see Mount Dior probably oh, no. as put um, Odin back. Put um, Odin back. <laughs> Wait a sec. Hold on. 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 Hold up. Hold up. You're upsetting my D cat. My cat does not appreciate that. Odin. Uh, hold. Got moved. Hold up. Where do you see Mount Dior? Do you see him as a character that is, um, that is, wh wh where do you see him? I, I see him in C tier. Like, I kind of want to say above oven and maybe above, like, like right next to, maybe next to Don Sai. <laughs> um, ooh. or right next to Tashiki. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I think Tashiki has the potential end of series shit with yeah. there, so I feel comfortable putting him right next to Rizo. Yeah, very, yeah. very competent member. That that's fine. Oh, where do you go? Where do you go on my thing? And yeah, you better put Odin back. What are you talking about? I didn't I move saw Odin. You put him. You put him in C. I didn't know such yes, thing. He did. Look, he is right there. Look. Look here. Look, I there's your it. Kazuki Momonosuke Odin san. He's right here. No, that is <laughs> I did not, not touch him. That first of all, that's the D tier. Second of all, that's not Odin. You said I put Odin in the C tier. I yeah, did no did. such thing. Look, here's I Momonosuke did. Odin Kazuki. He's right there. I did I not move did. him. Look, see, look. There's your man. Top left, I did not touch him. Just no. like you said, he belonged in S tier. So there you go. Why is Im Sama number two of S? That's not Im Sama, that's Odin. <laughs> no. With all the potential for the story, Im Sama might as well be Odin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Put, put Odin back up there. He's right there, potentially. No, he's Oh, <laughs> Hawkins, Hawkins, oh. I think you're missing the point. He could potentially be Odin. <laughs> he could be. Perhaps the bullet did not kill him. Perhaps it gave him superpowers of immortality. Move Odin back. Fine, <laughs> I will move him back with the Garose. There we go. Now, no. continuing where we left off. <laughs> back at number two. Uh, Damn, keep moving him. Fucking fine. Jesus Christ, are you happy now? No, you put him at three. <laughs> What do you mean? Number two, tiers don't matter in the no. S tier. Go back. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> there we fine. go. Fine. Are you happy now? <laughs> yes, I am happy now. All right, fine. All right. Uh, you are a big mom person, I believe. No, I... That, that's a white beard person. Oh, oops. That's another yeah. commander. Nobody. I don't. Yeah. Okay, that's my bad. I swore it was like on Big Mom Pirate. You know. Why is Hachi here again? <laughs> I don't know. Where did Why? Where did we put Hachi? Here. Oh, I think in Hachi? B. <laughs> I, okay. I, I'm pretty sure in B. Hold on, let, let, let's see. Uh, where are you? Where the fuck are you, Hachi? Uh, yeah. Well, maybe we did put him in C. Uh, fuck. Where where are you, Hachi? Hachi. God damn it! I can't even control oh, there him. He is. He, he's he's in B tier. Next to uh, Inazuma. Where are you? There you are. All right. D done. All right. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. uh, is the next person on your list the third mate of Killer? Yeah. Uh, third mate of Kids Crew? Yeah. Uh, cool. Okay. Yeah. He has a cool, cool design. design. He, he told Kit to not really fight people. And then that that's it. Yeah. He does have that Onigashima potential, but <laughs> is he even there? We ha have we even seen him in Onigashima yet? I'm pretty sure we have. Interesting. I swore we have. <laughs> we, I guess we. I don't know. I like. I'm kind of tempted because he is the third mate, 
uh where maybe he'll do like some really cool shit with kid and killer or maybe like i think he said it once where he's like maybe the mates of the of the crews will have like a flying six opponent that'd be Mm -hmm. nice but uh i'm gonna feel pretty bad if i have to throw him down in d tier but i don't see a way out of it for him i don't either i mean i guess for him i know we've done this a lot maybe making him the poster boy of d tier Actually, no, I do not. I do not do that. Let's Ooh. put him right under Hody, right above Elizabello. Because I think there's an expectation that he'll definitely do some shit. Yeah, true. Yeah. All right, that's, uh, that's fair. Who the Next. fuck are you? I don't fucking know. Go on, nobodies. Who are you? I feel like that's <laughs> the guy in the treasure chest. <laughs> that is not uh, That is not Gaimon, I can tell. That okay, uh, I don't know who this guy is either. Bye. He's also he's also on the White Bear Pirates, but the okay. most he does is apparently I guess he has like a pocket fruit, so he can pull cool. things out of the pockets. Yeah, so he's like that fat guy from Venture Brothers that can pull anything out of his belly button. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good. Uh, if that if that was the actual character, I would put him in A tier, but it's not. Yeah, so. <laughs> Now, who is Giant Boy? I don't know. Go oh my nobody. God, just a barrage of nobodies. I know, damn. <laughs> now, thankfully, we have the Giant Guy, Doofus Face. Oh, yeah, Doofus. Oh. I think he's actually far worse than than uh, Mole Woman and Double Finger. I think he belongs in D. <laughs> yeah, he does. He, he, he has belongs. the design. Yeah. He belongs probably beneath god okay i got an idea i'd say right I'd... Under tomorrow oh i was gonna go further oh where were you yeah, gonna put him i was gonna put him underneath fuku rokuju really i mean at least fuku rokuju has something going on especially after the latest chapter oops oh, well i mean here's the thing here's the thing with doofus face we know that he got into an actual fight. He did. And again, his characteristic is stupid. That that's literally his character trait is stupid. Yeah. But we know that he like he contributed more in the fight than like he had more narrative contributions than everyone else below him so far. All right, how about this? How about right under smoothie? You know what? I'm I'm actually just look. I looked at her and I'm like, all right, yeah. yeah. And then there's Wapple, and I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? All right, Doofus face under Wapple. Yep. Um, all right. If okay. I'm going to be set on narrative contributions, <laughs> uh, pretty face. I recognize you somewhat. So you this this is. I think his name is Blue Gilly. He joined up with Idio, so he's part of Idio's crew in the. In the Grand Fleet. Does he have a character? <laughs> He's part of the Long Leg tribe. So he has a design. Yes. <laughs> and he might be slightly important. So D for design. <laughs> right there. There you go. Actually, no. Right under... Let's put him under Thatch. Okay. Actually, no. Well, not Bastille. Not Diamante. Uh, here, right next to the mountain bad bandit, right there. That seems fitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now there's you. You are from Baroque oh. Works. I know that much. Which one? Oh, oh, Mister Five. Yeah, yeah. He had the bomb fruit. That's right. See, like part one. I re- I remember all the antics of the Straw Hats. And then mm-hmm. when it comes to like early villains, like unfortunately between uh, Wapple and the actual Alabasta Saga, I've only went, read through it like once, I believe, and yeah. watched through it once. So technically twice, but man, my memory's fuzzy at some details. Uh, how how was Mister Five? cool like i i assume he could go with double finger his his double fruit was cool but the most he did with it was he shot boogers out of his nose that exploded and he like clotheslined usopp 
and okay. made him explode. That's pretty okay. much it. That's pretty much it. So it would well, okay, would so would you agree or disagree that he could go right with his crew in Baroque works or down below? I'd probably put him down below, to be honest. Maybe Probably. with his partner. <laughs> I wouldn't say that far down. Maybe, maybe right next to Don Chin Zhao. Uh, wait, where is he? Where are you, Don? Oh, there you are, right here. Yeah. Um, or right here. I'd say right there. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, sent tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I I'm not a fan. I'm not a Centimaru fan. At least he contributed that. to the story. He did, but uh, in some ways, honestly, yeah. all right, balance is restored. <laughs> Wait, what? I put Centimaru above him because I, I know guess. that Centimaru is gonna. He he did more so far. Yeah, I guess. Okay, you're from Beige's crew, I believe. What? Oh, this guy? No, this is. This is Blue Jam. He's the pirate that um was in the Ace Sabo Luffy backstory. Good lord, I'm terrible with this. Yeah. <laughs> um maybe it's I, because I look at I he has like the fang, same face as Goatee. <laughs> yeah, he does, but and trust me, I didn't recognize him at first, but I was just like, wait, oh okay. Again, I recently just watched the anime of this, so Yay! <laughs> But also, honestly, he could probably just go and spawn him in Friends. He's kind of a piece of shit. Yeah, I just... I, I think the only bit I remember him was uh, when he got Luffy, and mm -hmm. he's like, tell us where they are. And then Luffy is just like, they're definitely not here with me. And then he's just like, this kid's lying out of his mouth! <laughs> Actually, that was that was his um second-in-command doing that because huh. the guy like puts on these like <laughs> steel gloves with like spikes on them you know this is only helping your case of making you go and spawn friends because i can't remember him for shit then oh that's fine the thing is so his biggest thing is he's so remember how there was like that garbage terminal or whatever there yeah and how they set fire to it yeah, he so, was the was he the one that started? The, no, he, it wasn't him. Well, here's the thing: the nobles of the country asked him to put the barrels in the um, like throughout that garbage place, so he would start the fire. But in return, he was gonna be able to live like up in their like high town or whatever. <laughs> but obvious, you know turnaround was obvious you, they're not gonna fucking let a piece of shit like you live in their high and mighty town up there what are you stupid so yeah he's just an idiot so get the fuck off of here go and spawn them, friends enjoy your time there all right now unfortunately walkings we're dealing with an incompetent piece of shit according oh. to cbr so there's another spawn them, friends no, you don't. <laughs> I know. No, Luna, Luna, Luna was cool. Uh I would I would put him in C tier. Yeah. However, um in terms of C tier, um I see his contributions right up to oven. Right below oven. Right below oven. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. because here's the thing everyone below Bluno is like, okay, we know they could do stuff, but we haven't really seen that much for them. Mm. And what we did see, like, it didn't impress too much. Yeah. The only exception that I'm immediately seeing is Caesar, but he has lost points. He lost points because of unlikability. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> um,. So yeah, I think he fits right there, right under yeah. Oven. There, they, they yeah. both did their part in the story narrative sense. Hopefully, Oven does something that he can actually do and prove. Yeah. Uh, uh, speaking of which, another who's the, who's the next? same boying. <laughs> it's bobbing again. <laughs> it's bobbing again. Here's the thing: I'm only going to put him above Judge. 
because I don't know if I did. Did I go into detail about Bobbin before? Oh, yeah, we did. We did. We did? Yeah. Already during this whole thing? Yeah. Look, Bobbin's on F again. Wait, what? Look right next to Die Food. What the fuck? It's literally the same picture. Okay, so you are going to make my day. I'm putting you in Spawnman, friends. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, I wonder you look familiar. Okay, so next guy, the lion guy from Wano. Um, you oh, are nobody for me. Oh yeah, it's a uh, hold him. Yeah, uh, he just shows up. I am content with putting him in D tier because he really did like one thing that pissed Luffy off, I think, and yeah. that's it. I'd I'd probably put him above speed because at least he did something more than speed did. All right. Where did I put you, Speed? Right, there you right. are. Yeah. yeah, right after the Blackbeard Pirates. Okay. Uh, are you fake Straw Hat or are you from Wano? I have no idea. Guess so, where you're going then. Guess where you're going. <laughs> um, you, you are a Whitebeard Pirate, I believe. Yeah, he's a Whitebeard Commander. Fishman. <laughs> Where'd you put him? Too, I put him in no bodies. This is too easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean... He really didn't do too much. He was just like, I'm Whitebeard Commander. We. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Now, <laughs> Buffalo. Oh, Buffalo. Okay. Here, talk about Buffalo because I think my DoorDash just got here. All right. Go for it. <laughs> All right. All right, everyone. I'm going to mute, gonna mute Walkings here because I don't want to interrupt any interactions you might have with DoorDash. All right. So, um, Buffalo. It is, it, it, he's kind of like an interesting case. Technically, he was there since the beginning. He was, uh, when Doflamingos first started to get his gang together, Buffalo was was a member of said gang as a kid, right up there with Wall and Baby Five. Um, after, like, as he grew up, there really wasn't much to talk about him. True, he participated in the George Rosa Uprising, but that was really it. We didn't really see much of him until Punk Hazard, where he literally flew with Baby 5 to the island, and then kind of got owned by Law, and then that's literally all I remember. I'm going to ask, I have to ask Watkins if, uh, if, wait a sec. No, I'm sorry. Buffalo and Baby 5 got owned by Usopp and Nami, and then was, le- then got uh, forced to leave a message for Doflamingo by Law. I don't remember if Buffalo did anything else after that. If uh, if if he just fucked off after that entire thing, I honestly don't remember. Did he ever participate in the battle? Oh fuck! I actually don't know. I legit don't know now. <laughs> you know what? Let's see. Is there anyone on here that I could just put in the nobody while Walkins is getting his food? Oh wait, he's right there. All right. Uh. <laughs> oh damn it. I'm so used to going by these one by one. There's pre time skip Sanji. Don't worry, everyone. He will go in the S tier soon enough. Um, I think this guy's a nobody. Uh, oh, you're back. Sorry. I made sure to watch the screen to make sure you didn't go up and move certain people. I did no. nothing. <laughs> I was literally talking about Buffalo the whole time. Now, Ooh. I have to ask you real quick. Did he participate in the final battle of Dressrosa at all? I do not remember. Not really. He, um, the most I remember him was it was that in-between point of Punk Hazard and Dressrosa. Yeah, where Nami and Usopp sniped him out in the sky and then mm. got left behind by Law. Yeah. And then... So um, they did fuck off after that. Kind of. And I mean, we saw him during the Law flashback along with Baby <laughs> Five. Yeah, I also mentioned that. Yeah, but that, like, that they was didn't really it. do much. They were just there. Yeah. So, I mean, wherever you feel like he deserves to be. Let me see. I just want to double check the history section. Mm-hmm. Dressrosa, Punk Hazard, taken out by Nami. Yep, Dressrosa arc. Oh, Kiros defeats Buffalo <laughs> when, oh. when Kiros <laughs> enters. Well, there it is, folks. <laughs> Um, I see him as a, despite how long he was in the story for the flashback and uh, with Punk Hazard and Dressrosa, he really didn't do much. I see him as a D tier. 
I mm-hmm. would gladly see him as someone that is right below Fukuro Kujo. Yeah. Again, if we if we saw more of like how he grew up and all that, maybe he'd be higher, but we again. kind of saw that, but again, it was just like we saw a lot of him in some yeah. areas, but he didn't do much of anything. Yeah. And but not only that, it's just like at least with baby five, we got something more from her. Right. You know. Buffalo was kind of left behind. The power yeah. of boobs does that to a writer. It does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh Bay J's third mate is next, yeah. I believe. So this is second. Vito. He he has a uh an obsession with the Germa. He also has terrible takes on Twitter. Hey yo. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know. Where where did we put Gotti in D tier? Uh Vito yes, least, we put him in D tier. Vito at least communicates with people more because like he was all up Sanji's butt about Germa stuff. He showed him the I... picture of Cody. Well, there's the thing. There's communicating, and then there's doing something. So, who who was the, where in D tier was? They spoke lines, and then that was it. Was it literally Hina? No, no, it wasn't. There's no. Dolph, there's Blackbeard Pirates. There's Goatee. Maybe Actually, right no. with Goatee. It is around like Hina and um, Lao G. Let's put him. Well, there is always the potential to come back. So. But there's also potential he might not really contribute that much. So maybe right under Lao G. That's fine. Okay. Now then, giant mutant creature, where should we put you? <laughs> Why that sue me? Um I don't know. I, I feel bad, but it's another D tier. Let me see. He was he was a giant. Sanji and Jinbei easily took care of him. Mm-hmm. And he then helped, he back he in home. Jinbei with that uh, Poneglyph, wherever they took it in that cover story. Mm-hmm. And they also, he, he was the reason the Straw Hats pretty much escaped in Whole mm-hmm. Cake Island. So he had a major contribution, but not really. He was a bratty character. Yeah. Um, a major contribution, but kind of a bratty character. Major contribution, kind of a bratty character. Uh, I see him maybe below Double Finger. Up in C tier, perhaps. Mm. Or should he be the new face of D tier? <laughs> hmm. Actually, no, 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 no. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. You know what? I see, I I think see him he's good to go. I see him underneath Sin tomorrow. You know what? Fine. That works. That works. <laughs> yeah. That works. Like with that. Maybe I was thinking too hard on the whole contribution. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Did, what were you saying? No, just that. I mean. He contributed a little bit. Uh, and he came back, so I, no I am. I no, think he's yeah. a white, uh, no, a uh, big mom pirate, but I don't. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Uh, you Wanda. girl that Wanda. gave Chopper a boner. Well, that and she was she's wearing Nami's bikini, so everybody was just like. What the fuck that happened with Nami? Blah, blah, blah. You say S tier. I swear to God. <laughs> no. Trust me. I, I'm not a furry, so. Oh, that's not what I was talking about. I was saying oh, no, I, because I know she's wearing about. Nami's clothes, automatic S tier. <laughs> no, S tier. Uh, but in all seriousness, like. I honestly see her as a C tier. Yeah, I see that. Because at least she's contributing something. Yeah, I see that. Um, She's with Carrot and Pedro. 
I see her then. Maybe right around. Maybe around Madame Charlie levels, perhaps. Hmm. There is the also implication that she might be doing more stuff, like after yeah. Onigashima. Like the other minks that stayed behind, maybe they'll join the adventure. I don't know. Yeah. No. Would would you say she's above or below? Maybe below for now. Yeah. Yeah. That's All fine. Right. Okay. Uh you, Matt, oh. former oh. slave turned law crewmate. I forgot his name. I feel bad because I feel like I should know his name, but I forgot it. Good. He's going in D tier because I don't think he did jack shit. <laughs> except I just for, remember him. Huh? I was going to say, except for like Beppo being like, hey, you're new here. Don't talk down to us. Yeah, I only remember him because he was a slave freed and then Law brought him on board. That was mm-hmm. it. Uh, in terms of D tier... <laughs> above mountain bandit <laughs> yeah um actually probably above honestly let's put him above thatch oh because he might do stuff more in the future yeah i mean he's part of he's part of law's crew so that's true. Watch the next chapter. He just shows up and does like the most amazing shit. Like he's the one right. that brings Kaido down through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You. Um, I think it's one of the fighters during the Dressrosa rebellion. Yeah. Where, where's that other guy? Because he was with the other guy. There he is. He's in Nobodies. The one... With like the big chin, I think they right like. Here? Um, here? no, the one keep going to the left. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Right there. yeah. Okay, I think, I think they like. I think they were the ones that like teamed up together or something. I think yeah, they teamed up and then they rode with Luffy and then Pika separated them all. I think yeah, I think uh, girl pirate. Who oh. who you be? Who who you she he be? Is an ally of Whitebeard from the Ice Continent. Bye. Yep. <laughs> <gasps> oh, um, okay. So this guy is famously known for getting absolutely demolished by Whitebeard. Oh, is this the giant that um he was name dropped in during uh Big Mom's flashback, wasn't it? I think. I yeah, and then you know. and then come Whitebeard, the battle. He literally did he literally stops his attack mm. and then shakes the earth and tosses him about. Oh. I think his name's like John. Yeah, I think his name is Long John. <laughs> um very pirate name for Marine, by the way. But however, cool design. Got destroyed in a second. At least I remembered who it was, but Unfortunately, with memory and just design, and that's that, you are going in the D tier. Yeah. However, I do think that he is definitely deserving to be the top of the Marines we have in D tier. So right above Bastille. Yeah, I'm I'm actually I'm curious what his name is, so I'm gonna look it up real quick. I swear it's Long John. Let me yeah, uh, yeah, I'll pull it up too. One piece, yeah. Long John. That is not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Don't right. you show me sexy clothing. Ancient giants. Yeti cool brothers. Here we go. Uh, that's a giant race. Other giants. Giant squad. It is. Don't show me fucking. G- Don't show me Long John Silver from Treasure Planet. I love him. That has no context. What? How is it that the. How is it that the One Piece wiki. Doesn't have his fucking name on here. My God, is he actually not? Does he not have a name? I could have sworn he did. Actually, there is a way to solve this right now. Hold on, he's a, a vi- he's a vice admiral. Whitebeard shakes the world. Whitebeard tilts the sea. All right, give me a second here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna let you get to the plaza. 
John Giant. That's it. Found it. What's his name? John Giant. Oh my God. Yep. And there's the subtitle. Sweet. Yep. All right. So John Giant. Yay. You're in D tier still. Doesn't yep. change anything. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't, mean, it doesn't matter. All righty then. Uh, who who are you? Are you from Skypea as well? I believe really? so. Were you one of the enemies from Skypea? Wait, where did you put John Giant? D tier. Where? Right above Bastille. Okay. Sorry, I just had to move mine. No, you're good. <laughs> um. Okay, who we have? Oh, <laughs> fun fact. This is Wiper post time skip. <laughs> I did. I had no idea. Yeah, it's it's Wiper post time skip. Is it a cover story? Yes. <laughs> okay, that explains yeah. it. <laughs> Um, so wherever we put Wiper is wherever this one can go. Where did we put him? Is it in C tier? Oh, it, fuck. Um, Wiper, where are oh, you? Yeah, he's, in, he's in C tier, right next to God. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. What'd you do? I, I let go of post time skip. Oh no. I don't know where he is. All right. <laughs> Oh, there is, there is bottom of B, end of B. Oh, whew, okay. <laughs> okay uh, there we okay. go. <laughs> oh, oof. okay. Aren't you the this next guy? Isn't he from Skypea too? Um, no. I think he's part of Kyo's crew. Nobody's. Yep. <laughs> that was easy. Now then, are you? Do you want to apply? She lost to Nami logic here as well. <laughs> no, because this one's different. Because at least when she lost to Nami here, it was after Nami had the power up from Sky Pio. So Nami could mm. actually use weather effectively in battle. Okay, good. Because I was about to say, if we're about to knock Khalifa down, then. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, I think she deserves to be right with Bluno. <laughs> Where did we put Bluno? I'm pretty sure C tier. That sounds about right. I'm pretty confident in C tier if I remember right. Bluno, where are you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, right underneath oven and C tier. Oven, 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 oven. There you are. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, yeah. that that's fair to her. Yeah, because I mean, I don't remember her aside from the betrayal, being the secretary betrayal, and then losing to Nami. Oh, and kicking Zoro a lot. That was, yeah. that was easy. And being sexual in a bathtub. So, yeah. Just yeah. not much <laughs> personality, guys. Nope. I'm sorry. Nope. <laughs> um, oh, Karu. Oh, that's a B tier automatic. Yeah. Yeah. Get up there, Karu. You're. You're an honorary straw hat anyway, so... Yeah, one of the only animal guides in most fiction that I really like. <laughs> yeah. Karu... No. And he actually did a lot, too. Like... Mm -hmm. Actually contributed. Dude, now, where... When he got shot and he kept going. That was yeah, great. Oh, my God. I, I remember watching it with Miranda and she started crying. I was just like, wow, you're oh. crying at this part? Oh, I can't wait till we get to later on. I believe he should go right above um right above the mayor, Mayor Iceberg, and right below Killer. Yeah, yeah, that's that's nah, I can yeah, I can I can tolerate that. Yes. Until Karu gets his own slot in Pirate Warriors 5, where he yeah. outshines Killer as a DLC character. Yep. Okay. Who are you? Oh this guy. He is the owner. I forgot his name. But he's the owner of the worst devil fruit ever, the jacket fruit. Okay. Where he basically turns into a jacket. Somebody has to put him on, and then he can get the strength of that person wearing him as a jacket. Yes. <laughs> where and was he even from? <laughs> During the call <laughs> Wow. Okay, that just speaks volumes then about the Coliseum. Mm -hmm. Um, who in the fuck it's are Karibu's you? Korabu. 
Did he do anything? He died multiple times. <laughs> Yay, nobody. Um, okay. This yeah. guy looks familiar. He does, but I have no memory of him whatsoever. Uh, Bye. 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 <laughs> you are a white beard yes. person. It's a white beard person. Yes. Uh, I recognize the design, so you know what that means? He was um, one of the more prevalent members, so I think he deserves, because of his design and memorabilia, deserves to go right with Monkey Man. Yep. Right oh, there. That's fine. Where, where's Monkey yeah. Man? There's Monkey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. You. You are Eggman. Yeah. I can't remember. Was he in Dress Rosa or Whole Cake? I think he was Dress Rosa. Okay. But I do not like. I think he was like a schemer, and then the the wow. Well, I is this a nobody or is he like the lowest of D? Have fun in nobodies. <laughs> the nobodies crowd is stacking up real quick. It is the dog man. You oh, are going one. in D tier. Yeah. That is fine. Right with, right next to, here we go. Inseparable pair between these two. Oh, him and the scar guy? Yeah. yeah. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, who's this? Oh, it's Don <laughs> Creek again. Freak. Wherever Don he was. was. Pretty sure he was in C. C or B. I swear he's C. Okay. Uh, yes, right here. Right. Yeah, there you are. Okay. There you be. Moving. There you are, Don Krieg. And there you are again. <laughs> we got, oh. I mean, if you lose to stairs... <laughs> she didn't lose to stairs in a fight. She just lost her life to stairs. So if you lose to stairs, it might be an automatic F. But however... However... It's also the... There's also the potential that she was murdered. There's always that. There's also the potential that Oda decided to do amnesia plotline. And she's just she. Which hurts. Yeah. Which really hurts. A little that would be the third time he pulled that card. What if Zoro creates an energy slash that hits Queen over right or Tashigi right in the head? And she starts tearing up like Zoro. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and then Zoro confronts his old master and is like, ah, uh, you see, I am the true master of swords. Tashigi, uh, Akuina would have surpassed me one day as the world's greatest swordsman. So I had to punish her. Mihawk. Mm -hmm. uh, you think Mihawk was the best? I was the best, Zoro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it was me. Whatever my name was. Kuina served as the inspiration for Zoro, and that really drives, like, that kind of makes me feel good about her, because, like, mm -hmm. she was the drive for Zoro, like, really his life. Yeah. So, like, I do respect that. However, that being said, I think she is probably... Oh, no, she beat Zoro. I every think in D tier. Single, yeah, every single time they fought, she beat Zoro. I'm thinking D tier. Where would you think in D tier? Above Momo. Oh, you hate Momo that much. At least she contributed more as a kid. I'm just saying. Yeah, Momo sucks as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. A, oh. Another CP9 member. Hello. You deserve to go right underneath Khalifa. Or actually, no. Right above Khalifa. Yeah, because at least you... You contributed to Monster Point Chopper, and your I, gimmick. Your gimmick was fun. Yeah, honestly, he his was the only personality that I really liked out of CP9, mm -hmm. aside from Jabra and Kaku. Yeah. Okay, so that okay, so I instantly proved myself wrong, but I think I liked him the most in terms of mm -hmm. just like wild character style. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fake straw hat. Hello, no. fandom and friends. Yeah, Dude, what a waste of a character. Yeah, 
<laughs> uh, train man. Wow, you actually, you know what? I am putting you right in the F tier. Really? I am putting you under Rebecca. Really? The reason is he, during the grocery song, collecting grocery yeah. song, he was shown to have a. Uh, to like killed many to get his ingredients for the for the tea party, and then what happens next time we see him? It's butt of a joke, just cool. And then we he fucks off. It's like wow, that that that's all you did, huh? You I mean, see walk-ins. This is what happens when you have expectations and you uh -huh. actually see the failure. When you see him become the butt of a joke. And that's why snack should be treated with more respect since it was you rude, you fuck. Nope. <laughs> Only because snack is in there, I'll give this one to you. <laughs> <laughs> the sea, the kudu <gasps> seals. Oh, they were cute. And I love them. I see them as a sea. Yeah. One of probably <laughs> low well. Probably one of the lower seas, to be honest. How about this? Okay, I see the fighting seals right above Scoper. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, are you being serious or no? I'm just kidding. Okay. Probably in all seriousness. I would put them I would put them above the jailers if we're being serious. Uh... Which yeah, yeah, that's D tier, but I mean <laughs> I know. Oh, but they're cool. They saved the day at the end. So did the perverted camel. But that character's not on here. Well, that's just on the fault of the guy now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there. Are you happy, you cold hearted monster? I'm not cold hearted. <laughs> That's where it ends, huh? <laughs> yep. All right. D oh, the guy that I whose saw. name starts with D, the Sanji clone. I well, really did not care for him. Did you? No. So do you see him as the F or Spandom? Oh, I wouldn't say I didn't care for him that much. He, had, he was basically a vehicle to be like, this is who's going to protect the Sunny for two years. Wow. No, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't remember that. I just remember Kuma was the one that did that shit. Kuma did it for a little bit. He, was, I think he was like, I think it was like the last year or so. Mm. But yeah, and also, and also, you get the payoff of the joke of Sanji's first bounty poster. Yeah, but as a character, he's really not that. Actually, you know what? As a character, you did get the gag of like he's been hunted relentlessly. Yeah. But I still really did not care for him. Fine. It's like, it's like his character changes. Yeah. yeah, subjectively, I really don't care for him. But if we yeah. were to put it on like actual character standard, uh, I guess maybe in D, I guess. There really wasn't much to him aside yeah. from just the sad story of him being hunted relentlessly during pre-time yeah. skip. But again, with D, I would, just to compromise with you, i put him at bottom of T, D. No, right above the mountain bandit. Okay. Actually, no, 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 no. Above Batman. <laughs> Poor Batman. <laughs> like, I, I think with Batman, it's just like a minion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's fine. <laughs> okay, the Gorgon sister, the other one, football oh. head. Hey, Arnold. She gets she to go right, right with her one. sister, but a founder. Sister. Yes. The why? sister known as Arnolda. Yeah. And why did she go above her sister? Because she's hotter. What? Oh, that's not what I have on my screen. Oh. Chubby's oh. hotter. Really? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking. <laughs> I was gonna say, really. I, I, there are people that think differently. I'm just not one. And that's fine, but. Oh my god, we're almost there. I know. <laughs> So this next one can go into nobodies. Excuse me. 
That is the mouth of Sauron. Thank oh you. My God. With the mouth of Sauron, because he got <laughs> removed from the theatrical cut of Return of the King, he is going above Roger for oh my God. for damage is done. <laughs> <laughs> you are Dressrosa. Oh, this is the guy who can change his weight, I think. And then Hodger didn't beat him. Yeah. Well, Even though... I recognized him. Really not much to his character. Yep. Hello, D tier. <laughs> right with Buffalo, actually. Right above Buffalo, I would say. Ooh, poor Buffalo. But Buffalo didn't do much. <laughs> <laughs> He was there. Yeah, he was there a lot, but didn't do much. Yeah. Okay, um, you are who? familiar. Is he? I don't remember. Maybe Dressrosa again? <laughs> but fuck you. Yep. <gasps> One of the brothers. Oh. What's his name? The main brother from Shirohoshi. Fukuboshi. Thank you, Fukuboshi. I would put him probably as a Maybe a high C at most low B because he he's like the leader of the brothers. He takes his job a little seriously, um, just wants to protect his family, takes his mother's words to heart, does help Luffy near the end, I believe. I put him in high C. Yeah. I like the guy. Yeah, he's cool. Um, let's see. Question. Mm-hmm. Above Viola or ab- or below Mr. Three <laughs> or below Ors um below Ors Jr. Wait. Oh, you mean regular Ors? Yeah, I would oh, say Oh, sorry. Oops, my bad. <laughs> I'd say under regular Ors. Very well. Yeah. Now, where did I put Ors Jr. again? He's Just to B. make sure I did it right. <laughs> He's in B underneath Cavendish. And uh, above Carrot. There he is. There he is. Sweet. All right. Very, very sweet. Okay. <gasps> Hello, Zipper Mouth. I really did not care for you. You're going Shut right under Ka- Khalifa. <laughs> because when Shut you have... Yeah, when you have similar characteristics, they don't always end well. (laughs) Where are you, Khalifa? There you are. Moving you up to where Khalifa is. At least your fight with Frankie was a tiny bit cool. Just a tiny bit. Wait, where's Khalifa? Right in C. Oh, C. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. where Did you you put put him... Did you put him above or... Below Khalifa. Right below her. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Oh. There. Hello. So this is the leader of the samurai unit. Good for him. Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't really done shit, but I do like his design. How, yeah. how are you feeling on him? Oh, uh, he's all right. He might like, have more to do later, but... Per, per, yeah, perhaps. Maybe in a good old D, then. Be, if that's being generous. How about right above Thatch? Yeah. Oh. All right. Okay, here we go. The last big highlight, probably. Uh-huh. I don't know who else we have on here. Um, But I know exactly where I'm putting you, pre-time skip Sanji. Ooh. Where? Done. Uh oh, above. Ooh. Oh, oops, ooh. my bad. Oops, there we go. There we go. Much mm, 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 Much better. Mm, mm. Fine. The, Much better. No. No. Fine. No, we're close. Much better. <laughs> no, we're close. Uh why uh, I, I guess my, my question for a defense is why above pre time skip Luffy? I was doing it for the meme. <laughs> oh, okay. Honestly, I would probably put him right above Vivi. Yeah. Yep. Like, not much. Okay. Not much to say with that. It's time we talked about it, though. It's time. Go we ahead. need to defend this. All right. So, 
Korean time skip Sanji. What a fucking amazing introduction to his character. Just like the badass waiter. I didn't even know those could exist. But then he did. Just happy. <laughs> then there's the <laughs> kindness with Gin. Then there's the whole parental relationship with Zeph. And then there was him cooking for the Straw Hats. And then there's the Foxy Games. And then there's Alabasta. Fucking Mr. Prince. That shit was ingenious. Yes. Everything that he did from pre-time skip was absolutely amazing. He was caring, compassionate. He had his weakness for women. However, it was more like a chivalrous kind of love. Yeah. True near the end, it turned into like Nami and Robin obsession. But at least with Thriller Bark, at least the obsession took it like, a, oh, Robin, what if we ducked? And then she's just like, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, at least there were limits to Sanji, you know? Especially um, with Nami, it got a little eh, almost post time skip levels of horror. Yeah. But, you know, at least he could still control it. The stuff with I, uh, Ivankov. Uh, oh my god. There's, there's so many great themes to listen about Sanji. Uh, just Jesus. I think one of my favorite Sanji moments, by the way, is when he's staring down Anel. He he can rescue Nami. Anel mm -hmm. blasts him, and he's like, "Thanks for the light." Yep. It's fucking Sanji was an amazing badass. He was pretty much like the knight, like he's the knight of the sea before Jinbei, before we got to know him, and just he was a great character. It was like he had that mystery that surrounded him. But like at least the person we had before the great mystery was revealed, at least that was an amazing character by his own rights. His interactions with the crew, his interactions with his enemies. Just just very great character stuff. It was amazing. He was my favorite straw hat before Brooke came along. And yeah, that that like it, it it's it, like I know it's easy for us to be like a. I think it's a pattern. We're very it's very easy for us to to say why we hate a character, but yeah. it's for, when it's come when it comes to a character that we absolutely love, like uh, Luffy and Sanji, like pretty much anyone in S. I think we often find ourselves at like kind of like a loss for words because. Mm -hmm. There's there are so many traits that we can like so many traits and stories we can contribute both personal and just on the quality of the writing. Like if we wanted to list the reasons, we would probably have to do like a full on synopsis of One Piece for each one of these characters. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's and like I mean, oh, there is a reason. Yeah, and I mean, I know we've been memeing at the whole this whole series, but. There's a reason that I fought so hard for Odin to be number two on S tier. Because mm -hmm. there is something about that character that was written, the things that he accomplished, the, the story that he was a part of, all of that just, it, hit, it hits really hard. And, and just like what you said, you could say that about any of these S tier characters. Like, there's part of it where it's just like we can defend it, but defending it would take us longer than this video series is. Yeah, like it would actually require us to go write like twit longer posts. Mm -hmm. Like seriously, if I if you asked me to defend Sanji, I would probably script something and it would take like maybe 10 pages knowing me. Yeah. At like the bare minimum. And, it, and, it, and like honestly, I don't know if I ever said this before, but when I made the Sanji conundrum video, that hurt to put out, mm -hmm. and because I I kind of downplayed how much I loved pre time skip Sanji. I think I said I think I had to throw away lines like yeah I really liked him you know he was great he was my favorite blah 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 and then I just eviscerated how, what like the gag he became in the post time skip yeah. era. And it's like yeah he has his moments yeah he had his development. But Jesus Christ, Oda did so many wrongs. Mm -hmm. It's like, what did you do to this man? I miss the old Sanji. It's like, oh, but the old Sanji never left. You're right. He died. Yep. <laughs> he died in an alleyway 
and his uh, and the murderer was a woman that m- erased his memories or some meme shit. I was trying to go for like just a, a dark murder joke, but then I tried to tie the whole thing on to the executive work. But you guys know what I mean, right? I, 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 <coughs> am I making sense at all? No, you are. Uh, God damn. <sighs> Santi, yes. Yes. Honestly, if, if, if I had full control and I didn't even care about objectivity at all during this entire thing, Sanji would probably be right up here. I love <laughs> time to give Sanji that much. And that's that's fair. Uh like he remember when I was mentioned in top 15 how Luffy doesn't even come close to that? Mm-hmm. Sanji's in top five for me. Uh, I was gonna say for you, yeah, definitely top five. God, I loved him. <laughs> Here's hoping that now that he's in his uh, painfully rushed raid suit moments. <laughs> Hopefully, we get some really good classic Sanji again. We almost yeah. got them. We had that Mr. Prince moment when he saved the day with Momo, but now yeah. we just need more. We just need more. Like I, 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 I have the optimism that he might be redeemed. We <laughs> might see that classic Sanji we all love. He really just does need to ditch the whole loving women to a fault gag routine. Yeah. Yonko but, territory goes for the prostitutes. I was just going to say, Trevor, he's got to look for the prostitutes. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, right. Mustache marine guy. I don't know you. The end. Yeah. <laughs> yep. The end. Have Long- fun. Lawn beard guy, I don't know you. Merry Christmas. Goodbye. Yep. <laughs> um, the minks. Another mink commander, quote unquote. I think they deserve to go right with their brethren. Yeah. Well, I think Cold I put them in D. I want to. Yes, right above yes. the. I put them under Sicilian. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. Right there. All right. Excellent. And then, oh, look, another mink. It's the zebra one. Yeah, I put them in. Oh, you put them up there too? The order. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. I'm They're all in D. Move, I'm moving mine up as we speak. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, they. We, man, oh. I want to see that Zulon zebra. <laughs> I do too. But unfortunately, we'll probably have to wait for the anime to show it. Uh. <laughs> And another mink. Yeah, right up there with the others. Yep. I already mentioned with you, but I can't take the whole the anime will fix it because it really doesn't no, fix know. the manga. No, 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 I'm I'm just saying we'll see it in the anime. It doesn't fix the manga, but we'll at yeah. least see it in the anime. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, for context, people, um, during the the Craig array, um, by the way, again, go look up talk to Craig. <laughs> um or just type in the Craig array. Uh, th- there was a there was a moment where we talked about how the anime really doesn't fix the manga's problems because I think you've said it before, and we know people in the group chat have said it before. Where it's just like, yeah, the anime will fix that. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Mm. And to use the same example, this is the same thing of if I took up if I read the comic book. Marvel's Civil War, which is honestly right there, sitting right there on my bookshelf. <laughs> it's like if I took it and I read it, and I was like, oh, okay, well, this is cool. Found a few issues, and then some random guy's like, don't worry, the movie will fix it. And yeah. then I see the movie, Civil War. It's like, wow, that was really different. Did some things I liked, did some things I didn't like. Cool. Still doesn't fix the issues I had in the comic book. Yeah. It's the same thing with animation. The same thing, and you can apply it to Bleach. I'm ecstatic that Bleach might, well, well, not even might, will come back with an anime. Part of the reason is there there really is no excuse for the Bleach anime to try and fill in the gaps left by Kubo. That only makes the Bleach anime probably better, but it still leaves the train wreck of the Bleach manga in its yeah. path. It's... It's unfortunate, you know, the source material will always have its flaws stained with them. Mm-hmm. Animations don't fix that shit. It, it's always on the source material. And and that's the thing, like, because I, I used I was one of those people that said, yeah, the anime will fix it, but that is a good point. That's just like, yeah, the original is still clunky in this part, but 
I guess, I guess with me, I'm looking at it as the whole product, but because I mean, if you think about it, I don't know. I can, I can separate a comic and a movie. Like I can separate the civil war comic with the civil war movie because there's multiple different minds going at it. And I guess you could use that too for the anime, but it is still a fair point. Yeah, it's like it, it's a dangerous game to to have the anime be mm. the manga because yeah. at that point you could be like, okay, cool. So the anime did this shit. Why does the manga suffer from that? If it's the yeah. same thing, why does the anime stretch it out when the manga does this better? The manga and, fixed the anime before the anime became a theme. That's where the logic starts to fall apart. Yeah, and honestly, the only the only reason that I even started using that as an excuse for Wano oh, hold on, excuse me uh, is because the Wano anime has been a lot better than the manga Min minus one part I'll always <laughs> add that caveat but minus Fuck one part that the Wano anime has actually been doing really well like the slow pacing is adding to Wano's benefit yeah, and I'm glad that the anime fans have that. I yeah. like fucking great. More power to you all. I'll yeah. probably do the same when the anime is all said and done. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, <sighs> all right, uh, uh, Don Shinjao. Oh, you're going right where the other one was. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> My God, thank God this is being easier. I know. I, know I, I put you in D or C. Yeah, he's in D. He's like, oh, oh, there he is. Found yeah. You. Alrighty oh, then. So opera. I'll let you as the whole cake expert. It sucks that I'm the expert. <laughs> I fucking hate that title. You guys have given me that. <laughs> God damn it. I it's I'm indifferent to the art, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright. So opera lovable opera we don't really get that much of him first time he really becomes a threat was during the whole uh the fucking luffy being a dumbass by standing in the middle of a yonko territory field and just saying bring it on um and then we have the the book prison scene we don't really get that much of him we really don't it's just uh he tries torture nami the end yeah. And then there's the whole, uh, he then carries on the guilt of they escaped technically under his watch. I think, I think that's the whole thing. That's how mm -hmm. it goes. Yeah. And, uh, and then the next time we see him, he tries to stop Big Mom. Yay! And then gets fucking annihilated. <laughs> Yay! It's like, he's not a disappointing enough character to be like an F tier. Oh. But I will say he deserves to be in like probably the lowest of D tier because whatever he, I think the point of his character. Oh wait, yeah, I remember why the pressure was on him. He he lied about the whole thing about mm -hmm. the straw hats escape during their family meeting. Um, I think he deserves to be in the lowest of D tier. I know the tragedy of his character is I I want my family to like me and that's why I lie. And then it blew back in his face with its literal death. But it's like okay, cool. You you got annihilated, and you had a tragic element. It's not much of a character though. It really isn't. No. So lowest of D for you. I but was still a, right above the mountain bandit. I was I was almost gonna argue F, but. He's fine. Yeah, he he hasn't really done anything that disappointed people. All righty then, you are familiar. Who yeah. are you? Is he one of the gifters headliners? <laughs> Maybe. Well, I guess that I know where you're going. Yep. Hello. Uh, oh. All right. It's the real hungry, hungry hippo. It is. I How don't doing, think he buddy? did anything. He, he just got, shows up, right? He got beat up by Kid and Luffy. In the prison. That's right. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, is that worthy of being D? Or it w- I wait, he's treated like a nobody, isn't he? Um, honestly, no, he has of, a couple of scenes. He has a scene it, or two. Honestly, it's kind of worse. He's built up to be a headliner. Oh, you're right. <laughs> well, we and know what vice, happens to vi- disappointments. <laughs> and a vice warden on top of that. We know what happens to the disappointments. Now, does he go below or above Rebecca? <laughs> Probably above. Uh, oh, Le- okay. Let's let's keep it above Rebecca. Okay. Uh, actually, no. Never mind. Wait. Shit. Because Rebecca was important, and this guy was supposed to be important. You're right. Shit. And and also Rebecca has boobs, so you're right. Where does he go then? Above or below? I guess below. Like, I, well, Rebecca was who was the bigger disappointment? This guy oh, or Rebecca? True. Yeah, Rebe- <laughs> Rebecca was. You're right. All right, good. We have the order fixed. And you know what? Mm-hmm. The train guy didn't, wasn't that disappointed. There, fine. Not as disappointed well, as Rebecca. Yeah. Above Rebecca? Where are you? Yeah, take above, that. I guess. It's take fine. that. Now, uh, you are... Are you just... Supposed to, no, Whole Cake Island or Wano? No, this is this is Wano. I think she was with Sheep's Head. I think, I think her name's Jin Rummy. Well, good for her. <laughs> yeah. Go in the nobody section. Is this one of the fake straw hats next? I don't know, so guess where you're going. Boom. Who's this guy? Uh, of, uh, you know, I like his design. <laughs> I have no fucking idea who he is. It looks rad as hell, but I don't know him. So unfortunately, you know what? Top face of the no, right next to the guy, because I at least recognize the marine on the top le- on the top face of the nobodies. So I'll put him right next to there because I like his design a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all right. Uh, standard marine <laughs> by. <laughs> By uh, Morgan, oh, Captain Morgan. Um, like uh, you can't really fault him too much because he's kind of just like the smallest of Marine bases that got yeah. drunk off of the tiniest amount of power. So, um, he's not like a disappointment. He does the no. story role, but he doesn't have anything impressive aside from his axe hand. Yeah. Uh, uh, I feel uh, bad. Like D tier is like, oh my god, D tier is filled. Kind of deserves to be there. I know <laughs> he has no other character uh, trait. He doesn't. He it's raised, just marine dick. <laughs> he raised a shit son. Yeah, I I guess uh, for story contrib- Oh my god. Oh no, not with Helm Alpo. Um. I guess. Yeah, Helm Up was at least better than him. You know what? Uh-oh. You're going to aid me for this. What? So, what if we... Actually, you know, never mind. Not above the Blackbeard Pies, because we know they're going to jump in quality. Maybe. Yeah. Do you want to keep... Well, do you want Morgan to be above the Blackbeard Pies because he did his thing, or right below them, right next to Hold'em? Oh, uh, put him next to Hold'em. Very well. Also, I know who the next one's going to. Let's see. Oh, Penguin! Oh, fuck. There you are. Are you putting him next to Beppo? <laughs> what character does he have, though? At least Beppo has his own look. Yeah. I, I honestly see this guy's a nobody. He's there with the crew, but oh, really? what is his name? Penguin! Well, congrats. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, fine. There's nothing to the guy. Fine. Now, this was the man that was destroyed by Whitebeard. Yeah, so... Bye-bye. He gets treated like a nobody, so nobody yeah. is where he goes. And Shach- Sachi, he can go with Penguin because they're buds on Law's crew. Yay. <laughs> Who the fuck is the next person? I don't I know. Who is this guy? I don't know. 
with these crazy designs, I feel bad that we don't know them. Who the and fuck is this person? Is this, this bitch? bitch? Looks like Big Mom in a way. Not Big Mom. It might be one of her kids. Oh, it's one of the gladiators. Uh, is it a gl- wait? Is he a gladiator? Is he part of the Whitebeard crew? I think he was part of the Whitebeard crew as a uh, like that was his whole stick. I only called him the gladiator because of well, Whitebeard's thing. You know what happens to people like that? D tier? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the nobody tiers. Guess up. what's happening now with oh. the next three entries? Oh, get in there, Tentadas. I fucking hate. Oh, we know four entries. Isn't that other one a Tentada? Oh, I guess. Yeah. Oh, uh, get the wow. fuck in there. I'm going to put them all together. One big happy family. Oh, fuck the Tentadas. The Tentadas are so useless that even organizing them together means they are even together. They are misaligned. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. That's younger. Hyogoro. Yeah, that's younger Hyogoro. So he can so right up there with A. Yep. Get up there. We're almost there, folks. We are almost there. This is actually going swimmingly. I'm actually kind of glad. Yeah. There's there's gonna be a couple we'll have to just at least talk about coming up. I'm, I, like I'm just very glad that we got all of our energy out in the start, like in the first eight hours, which is oh, strange. God, yes. The first eight hours because we have more energy nowadays. It's just like, uh, all right, Sanji. We kind of figured was the last big highlight that we need to really talk about. Yeah. Now we're just doing this out of the obligation for saying pride. <laughs> yep. Um, who the fuck is this dude? Uh, I know where I know where he's going. Maybe a white beard. I don't, I don't know. Who the fuck is Frenchman? Oh, that's the the flying one of the priests. So we got three of the priests now from Skypea. Oh shit, that's right. I think his that's name. Right. I think his name was Shura. To be legit with you, mm. I looked at the Frenchman. It's like, is this another white beard ally? <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> kind of has that look. Yeah, I completely forgot about Skypea for a second. So yeah, he was the the priest of string like the trial of string or something i think so he had a cool fight with god my lord that's true i guess that was... maybe lower c yeah lower c? Uh, probably probably where the baroque works people are like double finger and mole woman all right, that would be. Yeah, I I would put him above the the mole woman. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, offered a little a more, bird. I think. Yeah, he had a he had a flying bird and all that shit. Yeah, uh, um, so the pre the other two priests just go there as well. Yeah, because I mean, uh, this one with the same thing. Yeah, I mean this Your one. With the, oh, yeah, sorry. this one with the funny hair is he's the one with like the swamp clouds. Yeah, it's he like cool chopper. design. Yeah, cool he, design, he, cool fight, but that's it. <laughs> this one had his own cover story. Oh, I yeah. did not know that. Mm-hmm. It's something about like because he had fallen from Skypea, and then he ended up like on the ground, and it's huh. just gonna show some adventures of him on the ground and all that. Yay. And then the one that Zoro fought. Go right there. There we go. All right. All yeah, right. cool designs, cool fights. That was it. Mm-hmm. All right. <gasps> We're on the last row. We're yeah. on the last row. Oh Get my in god. There. <laughs> um, all right, Ryuma. so zo- zombie Ryuma. You go right with Ryuma, we saw earlier. I believe yeah. you are right in the middle of C tier. Yeah. I, I would say like a probably on the upper end of where Ryuma is. Yeah, right above him. Yeah, because that's least... the Ryuma we know. Yes. Yes. Um, um the, uh, weird hypnotism creature oh, thing. This is the other priest. The oh one. my god, how do I keep God? I don't know. I don't oh uh, right with the other priest then. Yeah. Right. Funny right. thing, the first time I saw the Skypea, because I, I, I kind of went like off and on oh. again after Alabasta. Mm-hmm. Um, 
the first time I saw in the Sky P arc was literally with this priest fight. <laughs> oh, really? And I was like, huh, this is weird. I don't know what's happening. And then because of school, I did like wait a little bit. But then mm. I eventually caught myself up. But man, it's been like years since I went through Skypea. Yeah. I just remember Anel being the best part. <laughs> Give me a moment. My camera cut out. Uh oh. I'll I'll be right back. Don't worry. I'll just keep saying how <laughs> Anel, I would always rewatch and reread the parts with Anel. It's just with the priests, it's a little bit hard of memory. Alrighty then. Well, we're almost there, folks. We are almost there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 characters left. Who's going where? I guarantee you folks, one of these characters will be going in a territory. Can you guess which one? Oh, I think I have a guess, and I will be fighting hard for this character. Ah, I heard a little beep, and he's out. Wait, no, there he is. There is the man walking. I'm big. I took a look ahead. There's going to be one character who I'm going to fight to put an A. I have a feeling who that might be. So when we get <laughs> to that person, we'll get there. So is the next person a nobody? Um, so I know who this one is. Remember that guy with the jacket fruit? <laughs> yeah, this is his brother. So put him right next Bye. to him in the nobodies. Fuck it. Uh, hey, okay. look, it's one of the bullfish. <laughs> it's the bullfish even here. Get out of know. here, nobody. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, brown. You. I, I remember you. Yeah, you were you were cool in uh, kids' little takeover of the new world, and then you were in Punk Hazard. Yeah, you were harmless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I liked his hybrid creature form. <laughs> I did too. I that's guess a, that's about it. Did he? Yeah, D tier. I guess. Yeah. Uh, where in D tier should we put him in terms of contribution? Uh, perhaps maybe right. Between Kami and Amande? Yeah, that's fine. I think that's fair. Yeah. Uh, Another nobody. Hey, look. I know where you go. Okay. Is this the one? Yes. I will fight to the bloody end about the Dawn being an A-tier character. You want my honest opinion? Yeah. I'm surprised you're not fighting for S. Dadan is a great... I don't think Dadan belongs in the S tier. Okay. Not like maybe end of series, maybe Dadan will do some crazy stuff. <laughs> so or come maybe have like a final a, war and help Luffy. Well, no, like maybe well, like either that either that crap or you know like maybe Dadan teams up with like he like uh Dadan's the one that brings Garp into the mix mm -hmm. at the final war like 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 Dadan convinces Garp to join the fray one last time. Yeah. Um but in terms of where Dadan should be think think she's missing that one crucial element for us here just that one little bit, you know? That one lost edge. I'm very comfortable with an A tier though. I'm comfortable with an A tier, but I don't know. I, to be honest, I mean, this is no knock against her. I'm honestly just because I'm looking at everybody else in A tier. I'm thinking of her at the bottom of A tier. Because she's kind of got. Fair. Yeah, she's kind of got the. Honestly, you know what? Switch her with Gureha. Very well. Very yeah. well. Because they cut both her and Korea kind of have the same thing going on character wise. Mm -hmm. in, in Korea a way. is funnier. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but. Well, actually, no, to Dan is funnier because she had that weird pixie dream that was, <laughs> that was interrupted <laughs> by a fucking children <laughs> falling to the ground. Oh. Um, um, oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. To Dan beating up Garp was the highlight of her character. I was like, whoa, yes. I never thought I would see this from you. Like, yeah. okay, I'm on board. Best I really like you. Moment. Jabra. Okay. Guess where he's going. Oh, where? Where is he going? He is going 
Uh, right between Luchi and Kaku. That is fair. I think he is a better... Jo- uh, I think he, like, because, you know, his interactions and personality, it is better than Luchi. Yep. At least he's not a cardboard like Luchi. Yep. And Kaku, I just like his, you know, his whole character just a smidge more than Jabra. Yeah. All right. Oh, the- <laughs> baby big mom. Does this just go? You know what? You know what? I really like the stuff with her. So mm-hmm. she's. we're not going to put her on the A tier with big mom. However, we are going to put her with young big mom in B tier. That, yeah, that's fine. Because her backstory alone was pretty good. I liked it yeah. a lot. And I know I'm pretty sure I referenced it again earlier, but I'm going to say it again. Like, the fact I had to reread that chapter to un- fully understand what she did as a yep. kid, I'm just like, that That just stands out to me a lot. Yeah. All right. <sighs> dragon. <laughs> the dragon that Zoro cut down at Punk Hazard. <laughs> Join the Nobody crew. You sure it, it like it was kind of the first dragon we ever saw, and it got one shotted. It's a nobody, okay. Trevor. I'm I'm very tempted for a D tier, <laughs> but very well for on one condition: mm. face of nobodies. That is fine. Yes. Um, you, you are, aren't you the pirate captain that tried to attack the, the referee transport? Was oh, that you? I fucking don't, you know where he goes. <laughs> All right. And now you person, you were Bellamy's friend, right? Yeah. Quote unquote friend. There was a second in command. Uh, I really don't, I don't remember really care about him at all. I so, just remember him being mocked by Do Flamingo, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Dear, dear nobodies. I would say nobodies. Then nobodies it is. Now, who is this? What is... It might be the resolution of this name, but Let I can see. tell what Oh, is. those are the Sea Kings. Oh, the I, sea I kings. saw it. I saw it as one giant creature, not multiple sea kings. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's sea kings. Um, well, on one hand, I kind of want to put him in nobody. On the other hand, though, they do talk. They responded to Shirohoshi. They allude to the the voice of all things with Roger. Mm-hmm. They like their their flashback is repeated twice. One in the Roger flashback, and one in the Fishman Island flashback. So yeah. And they are going to have important, so I feel comfortable with the D, honestly. Okay, all right. Like, we haven't really seen much of anything, but they might do something, and with that, I feel comfortable putting them right under speed. Okay. For now. <laughs> that That's fine. Okay. That is fine. The Kraken! <laughs> the Kraken! <laughs> oh, he beat up Wadatsume and helped them get to Fishman Island. Welcome to the face of D tier, I guess. You know okay. what? The face of D tier is the crack. Yes, I actually love that. Above Zeus, <laughs> above Momo, above Zeus. And oh. above, no, okay, you know what? No, we'll be fair. Below Momo. Okay, fine. Okay, oh all right. God. Zeus is still the face. Um, who's this? Uh, this is the I- Marine. I think he was at the Reverie, I I think, or maybe a random person from Marine Fort, but I don't recognize him. Bye. Nobody's. And then the Getty Cool Brothers from Punk Hazard. We didn't really get much of anything with them, did we? They got their asses kicked. Yep. Again, not much of anything, did we? Nope. Bye. We did it. Holy fucking shit, we did it. Oh, that's it. In under two hours, we finished this part. Oh my god, it's <sighs> almost six hours event then. Oh. 
I hope everyone enjoyed this long, hour. arduous long. journey that we went on. Almost four hours, almost eight hours, and then, oh my god, just about six, to five to six hours long on this one. Holy goddamn shit. Make sure to put in the comments all your respect you have for Odin. And But uh, before <laughs> you do that, you have to submit a comment talking about Sanji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. By the way, check your Twitter real quick. Oh, God. Is it, what it, 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 what are you seeing Super Bowl trending? Did we transport to February already? Did I don't know. Go check your Twitter because I'm I'm honestly confused. I'm um, I'm literally Super Bowl oh, yeah. I'm trying to why is it trending? What get, get, Dallas is it, is Cowboys? It really- oh my god, it's because well football's back and people are hyping up their teams and being like, We're going to the Super Bowl this year. No, you're not. Fuck off. Oh, wow. All right. All right, but yeah, that, that was yeah. it. Uh, walk-ins, how would you describe this experience from uh, one... You moved, you moved yeah. Odin. You moved Just Odin. explain one to ten. You moved you Odin. Explain you how moved you felt. Odin. I Where did, did not. you move him? I did no such thing. You moved Odin. I saw you do it. I did not. You moved him. I don't know what you, you're talking about. You... You person, you. Wait a sec. Where did I put him? <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh. This whole list is a travesty, everyone. Oh wait, I found him. I found him. I found him. I mm-hmm. found him. And you put him. You better put him back. Okay. There we go. There we go. Wait, I can change the background color. What? Oh wait, that's right. I kept it black. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Mm-hmm. Alrighty then. Let me share. Let me screen share again then. Yep. That's right. You better. You better put him back. Stop lagging! Oh my god! (laughs) Stop! Cease! Desist! Desist. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, everyone. So that is the. No, he's not in his spot. Where did you put him? I'm trying to close out the video walking. You moved Odin. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I put, I put him in his rightful place. You, okay, where where did you put him? You have three guesses. <laughs> I don't see him on this page, so scroll down. You have three guesses. Scroll down. You have three guesses. <laughs> scroll down. Have three guesses. You, you know put I'm him. Not- you no, put him in spawned him in friends, didn't you? Is that your final answer? Yes. Sir? Move him back. Uh, but Watkins, just, just hear me out, okay? I think he's in his perfect spot. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So you guys have just witnessed the last collab we ever do, ever. <laughs> it was nice, you know, knowing Trevor as long as I did, but we have creative differences, and I think we should just spend some I, – I have I want to bring things one direction. He wants to bring it in another, so fine, fine, fine. But, uh, you know what? Just for well, that, where's Kizaru on mine? Come here, Kizaru. Hey, how you doing? Let's put you with Spondam and friends. Yeah, and I'm yeah. not. I'm not even gonna change his name. I'm just gonna yeah. leave. I'm just gonna leave it at Spondam and friends. Why? Because yeah. Spondam, Spondam's a better character than Kizaru. Mm, debatable. Mm. You know what? Mm. I think Spondam and friends is actually the secret S tier. For for really think about it this way, for those characters to make us feel that much towards them, that's kind of like a transcendent character trait that they have. They make us feel more than we might on an equal ground to what we think are the great characters. So, the secret S tier all along. Thank you, Walkins. You put Kizaru in the secret S tier. You're the best. I love you. Well, bye everybody. Thank you for watching this <laughs> long ass video. <laughs> But yeah, this was this was a lot of fun. Can we can we yeah. agree? Oh, it was. 
I can't what? wait to come back to this in five fucking years. I know. Oh, we'll do another one then. It'll be more characters and we'll be like, who the fuck is this? Yeah, don't worry. I will change everything. I just want to have one last jab at you. I'll yeah. change it before I download this thing. Uh, it's it's fine. It's already we're already done. People already have the proof when we did the rundown. Yeah. Wait, what proof? I'm only releasing the last five minutes of this. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to get another strike. Ha ha ha. Bring it. Uh, but yeah, I guess I will see you come the next One Piece chapter. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Join us next week as we do Bleach characters. Oh my god, are we actually doing that? Are we doing that? You really want to do that? Uh, maybe not now. Yeah, we need a we need a we need a, a break. A, a break from tier list. We lost yeah. almost four wait, let me wait. Four, eight, twelve we, uh yeah, fourteen hours. Yeah. Yeah. We got to do a tier list full. That's fine. It's fine. Oh, but yes, everyone. Links to Walkin's channel are going to be on the end screen here in just a second and in the description. Um, I got, I got, got nothing else. So uh, I got, yeah. You know. Need one last edit to edit things out. Uh, to end things on. Um, hey, future Trevor, when you can, you know what? Let's end it where it began. Go ahead and give. Um. You know how you were going to put Emperor Palpatine as Eggman dur- during the the, yeah, the yeah. end of the first half of part one? Go ahead and kill Palpatine from from the good movie, episode six, mind you. Go ahead and kill Palpatine, but replace the dialogue with Eggman. Thank you, and good night. Now you must be destroyed at all costs. You'll never defeat me. I win. <laughs> Take this. <laughs> it's no use. Give up. <laughs> Nighty night. No way. I can't believe this. I'm your brilliant creator. Gamma! Ah!